All right, I thought I would do like a better, longer update on this. So right now, we just have six panels hooked to this. We're running two air conditioners. The six panels are putting out over a kilowatt right now. And the weather's really not good. This has got a single window air conditioner hooked to it. The amperage that you'll read on here is not necessarily accurate because um, what you might be reading is minus what's going into the inverter. Our load's at 500 and something, that's for the one air conditioner. I don't have the other one hooked to it. Let's go through here really fast. The menu on this is kind of a pain in the butt. So but basically if we're not putting out enough solar, we'll see the other side over here. It will show how much we're actually drawing from the battery instead. So right now, the sun is obviously dipped down. If we go back here, we'll see that we're probably drawing from the battery. Yep, four amps. These take a while to kind of get used to and figure out how they work. But, um, you know, and then it makes it more complicated because I have multiple stuff hooked here. Um, so we're not doing good now. And then this goes to one of my charge controllers down there that was recently producing about 35 amps. It has uh, eight panels hooked to it, but some are only uh, working in the evening because of the direction they face. So I've got these two charge controllers down here, and um, the other one isn't hooked to any panels right now because normally the panels that are going to this would go to that. So. And I use my batteries as basically a capacitor. That's a group 31, a couple months old, and those are two group 24s in parallel to kind of simulate a group 31. And they're in series with each other to form a 24 volt battery bank. So what you're looking at here is really basically two batteries in series. So I have a shunt meter over here and that goes to my charge controller's negative and then the other one goes up here to my all-in-one um, or I'm sorry it goes to the other charge controller so this shunt here will read any kind of draw through it if it's just like parastic draw idle consumption but mostly its point is to read what's going into the batteries here and it'll show me what I'm charging at. Like right now, we see 8.9 amps. If we go over here, we will see, get it to focus, 8.7 amps. And that's the one charge controller going through there. Because this is an all-in-one with an inverter, I have it going straight over here to my other one that also goes to this inverter. The job of this shunt right here is to measure the draw on the batteries. And that's this top meter right here. And so right now we're drawing 70 amps between everything that's hooked to that shunt, which is 1.7 kilowatts at 24 volts. And um, when we hit 23 volts, the uh, cutoff will hit. So this is why more batteries would be much better. So I can usually run one air conditioner for a little over an hour with just these batteries but I can't run both of them. So, usually what happens is in this time of year, the uh, weather gets bad, and the solar goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So, um, anyway, I don't really see anything more than 70 amps out of this, no matter what. So, I feel that my wiring is pretty sufficient. It's all uh, 6 gauge or larger, as far as the charge controllers are concerned and the inverter has what it came with which is basically two five gauge wires on each side um, this one here I think they recommend using two six gauge wires or something like that or I'm not really sure but the ampacity of some six gauge THHN wires in free space uh, not in a conduit is over 80 amps so this thing is capable i think of pulling like 135 
Let's see what it says here. 132. Um, but it will never do that with my load that I have on here. So, um, but I'm going to get some different wire for this later on. I need to get some some two gauge wire or zero gauge wire if it'll fit in there. Um, just because it's actually more flexible, I, I just I'm not worried about this. I just don't like it. It's um, they sold me this crap at the solar place, and um, I'm not interested in using house thick, uh, you know, stuff. I want to use car stereo wire, you know, like this type of stuff, as long as it's not copper clad aluminum, which I think this one actually is. Anyway, um, so right now I'm going to that cord here and I use this to get a little bit more out of it. This thing is a beast. It draws 10 amps. It's a thousand watts load, uh, 10,000 BTU. And it, it works okay to, to cool the shop down. Uh, this thing's not very well insulated in here. So it works. So anyways, um, I guess that's a, a quick tour of my solar setup. I do have another setup over here. Um, this is just on some Harbor Freight panels that I really just need to take back. The only reason I've been hanging on to them is because... Um, they're fairly portable and easy to move compared to a used uh, residential panel. So, but they're not realistic in, as far as efficiency. Um, and they're, you know, $100 plus for 100 watts that you're not even going to get 100 watts out of. So anyway, we're dwindling over here. Yeah. So much for running the air conditioner today.